Hello everybody and welcome in. My name is Linksy and today's episode we're going to be finishing off the grand finale of all of our floating islands and of course our flying ship. And if you missed the last episode, last episode we did the entire interior of the boat, finish up the farms on the inside because yes this is a mushroom farm. I'll put a card in the top right hand corner of the screen so you guys can check that out. But without further ado, let's finish off this project. And if you guys are coming in from the last episode, then you already know exactly what these little circles are going to be. They're basically all going to be floating islands here. They're all going to be about the same theme. This boat's going to be bringing them all into our mesa for us. And today we'll be working on this island over here in particular, where the ground is kind of falling off of the island with a tree that's just barely hanging on. And then I want to put a little bit of a bigger tree over here i want to do some really tall trees i want to start working on those but i'm very excited for today's episode and i hope you guys are all excited if you guys like the video please leave a like it helps out the channel immensely and of course if you guys want to see some more maybe consider subscribing i've got lots of cool builds going to be built up in this hardcore world with tons of content for you guys and i hope you guys are all enjoying the episodes let me know how you guys feel about the bow and the way that everything is shaping up with all the islands and stuff in the comment section down below and without further ado let's get into it that's exactly what i want to accomplish with the first island i love the style of tree that we've got going on here a little bit more tall i want to put another tree back here i think this one's going to maybe come up to around here in height a little bit shorter than that first beginning one and on top of the actual island itself, we did a little bit of the foliage, just a little bit. Obviously, there's a lot of bushes that need to happen in here. We got the ancient debris micro blocks. I think those look like pine cones. I'm going to light these up. I'm hoping that they don't look too stupid. And I think that this mangrove texture right here, I think it looks a lot like pine cones or pine needles, which I think that looks absolutely fantastic. But I absolutely love the way that that tree is shaping up. Looks like the wind kind of curves in there ever so slightly so i'm going to try to do the same thing with this tree back here this tree is just a smaller looking tree i think that one uh, that one's all right but when it really comes down to it these trees are really not that difficult to build and i'll break it down for you guys i love the silhouette of these trees to give off like a really nice vibe and it's not as hard as you guys may think it is this first tree right here took me hours upon hours upon hours to build but the second tree right here, even though it's not completely refined yet, took me about 10 minutes, if that. So let me break it down for you guys. So this actually helped me out quite a bit when it comes to building the tree here. Imagine this is the stump right here. Or the uh, the trunk, the... Oh, we're going too high. All right, so you start off with your trunk. And then we go up like maybe two blocks. Depending on how high you want the tree to go up, imagine this is the leaf. And then as simple as it is, all you really got to do is just bring it out like one layer at a time. Kind of like look at it almost like lines. I'm going to like do it in a very, very simplistic way just so you guys can see it a little bit better. You see how I've got like this natural like curve going on here. You don't have to put curves into it. You can do like something a little bit different, but this kind of helped me out when it came down to actually building these style of trees. They look a lot better from like a far type deal. So they look a little bit more like bushy in the middle. And then you're going to want to kind of keep track on like if you're skipping more blocks. Let me come in like that. I'm not going to really figure out the backside of that. You can kind of see a little bit. Like the moss is a little bit thick. But it is what it is. And then towards the bottom, it's kind of like a little bit more tapered. I know this isn't probably the best way to like look at it. This is looking like an absolute monstrosity of a blob. But hopefully you guys understand a little bit of like what I'm talking about here. It's not that hard and I can't fly up. So you'll have to just take it as you will. That's a tree tutorial done by Link. But anyways, I appreciate you guys showing up to my tree tutorial. Super highly sophisticated. So hopefully you guys will be building better trees from here on out. Now I'm thinking on the island here, I want to build some super tall looking mushroom trees. Taking a little bit of inspiration from what we already have on our boat down here. You guys will see where these mushrooms are. We well, can make a little bit of a lore saying that we get these mushrooms from this island over here. So going in back here, if we bring out all of our mushroom stuff, I can show you guys exactly what I'm thinking. I think that's on the right track. 
And if we add a couple little smaller ones to take up a little bit of the space in here, we got a little bit of a mushroom forest. Just like that. I think that turns out really nice. It kind of takes up a little bit more of that blank space in that area. Still got to address this whole landslide thing going on over here, but I think this is exactly what I wanted. So now we have a little bit of a connection between the mushroom trees over here and where exactly they come from. I want to try to do some more over here, maybe uh, on this side of the rock. We'll put like maybe like two or something like that over here. And now I think we're going to hit it with a little bit of lichen kind of coming up the sides here. This should help let it glow and bring it out just ever so slightly and also help spawn proof the island here. So I think this is going to look nice. And it also really goes obviously goes hand in hand with the, the whole mushroom stem type deal. So we kind of like bring this thing up. This should really bring it out from the backdrop. Yeah. And then to start off a little bit of our ground clutter here, we can add in a little bit of the dead bushes here. A little bit closer to the pine needles, almost like the trees above are killing off the bushes underneath. And then as we fan out, we'll make it a little bit more green. But I love the dead bushes. I think dead bushes are a nice touch. And of course, hanging roots. Because if we build our little cave in here, having like a little hanging root would be nice. So we can maybe hang off a couple like hanging roots off of our mushrooms as well. As long as we're pretty sparse with it. Because they do have a little bit of a lighter tone to them. We'll probably pop one there, do one over here, and we'll do up one of these guys. Uh, we'll put it right here. Bam! That should be probably it for all the uh, the roots, except for like the underside of the island. I think that would be a nice little touch because yeah, when you're looking at it, they do hang out because like, they're a lot brighter. But I want to take a look at this thing at night and see what the lichen does to the trees and to the mushrooms and see if it brings anything out. In terms of foliage, I'm thinking about just adding some leaves in here, making it look like it's kind of like hanging off the island in a way. As long as it's kind of connected through a corner block, I think it'll look nice. So we'll just work our way around here and we'll add a little bit of foliage, not putting them on top of the stone, obviously, because that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. And maybe even some berry bushes if we're looking for a little bit of red. I think that'd be, uh, I think that'd be really nice to have in this island area. That bush is okay, even though it's on stone. Kind of takes up a little bit of that, uh, that gap. Bring it out like that. Still don't know what to do with this area right here, but looking at it right now, though. It kind of helps break up a lot of our lines there a little bit, and we'll drape it down a little bit more. And I think that will look really nice. Now that it's nighttime, you guys can have a little bit of a better look at what the lichen does to the trees and to the mushrooms. It almost brings it out up against the night sky, which I absolutely love. It's almost like it's jumping out at you, especially the mushrooms because they're like a little bit whiter and stuff. That's gorgeous. Underneath here, I'm thinking about adding some glow berries and adding some other things. I like the way that it kind of shapes down though. But back to uh, placing our bushes. And I'm thinking a little bit of pumpkins on this island too would be really, really fitting. So just going to kind of sparsely place a couple pumpkins here and there. Just for a little pop of color. Nothing too crazy. Exactly like that. I feel like that almost blends. I think that goes really well with like the podzle. So I'm just going to kind of find like little spots where I want to place these pumpkins here very carefully though we'll place a pumpkin there one back there and as it uh kind of falls down this way maybe we'll plop a pumpkin right here type deal same thing kind of goes with over here pop a pumpkin there and maybe there and then over here we'll pop 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 popping pumpkins and I also had another idea of adding in the small drip leaf because I'm kind of limited being up here in the Mesa. Like with what kind of green foliage that I can have out here. And I just want to kind of mix it up a bit. So we'll probably pop this guy here. Throw that there. And I got one more because drip leaf out here is pretty sparse. But I think that looks really nice. Also, favorite plant in the game. Love small drip leaf.
I have some other little things that I can add here and there, but I'm thinking rocks to kind of like break it up a little bit. Rocks would be really nice, especially for back here too, because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of mossy cobble going on back here. Uh, I think we're going to need some sort of like boulders or something like that to kind of take away from the flatness of that. Break it up a little bit, you know? And of course, we're going to need some sort of mushrooms up here. Place them on the podzel, I guess, because we can't place them on dirt for some stupid reason. But adding in little bits and pieces of like mushrooms kind of growing around on the podzel feels fitting for a mushroom island, you know? And then, of course, just smoothing out a little bit of the rocks here with some slabs. I think really, really help bring in a little bit of dimension to our island here. I think that looks so much better. And even like taking like little bits like this, getting rid of that, bringing that guy down. That guy can come up. This guy, you guys get the picture. And just kind of doing this through the entire island. What better way to look at more slabs from smooth rocks from super far away? Check them out. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to fly up in here. Uh, I just want to say that I'm going to be building a platform underneath here and I'm going to be addressing this with some glowberries and stuff. But I think I've got the whole island lit up with lichen and stuff. And then I just kind of added up a little bit more of the terrain here. And I think this whole place looks absolutely gorgeous. Almost time to work onto the next uh, island here. Whoop. Try to get in here a little bit more smoothly. But look at the way this looks. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I didn't get to do the tree that I wanted to do here. Maybe one day when I'm better at the game, we'll be able to address that. But for now, I'm going to work on the underside of the uh, island and start draping down some more of these things. So there's probably chunks that I could probably bring down, but there's a little bit of lighting up that needs to happen because all the way down here, it looks a little bit too dark for my liking. And I'm not a big fan of that. Looking at this island is a little bit better lit up, even though there's a little bit of a shadow under there. This is exactly what I would like to accomplish over there by actually using a little bit of our... Oh, I don't have any glowberries on me, but you get the you get the point. I'm going to put some glowberries on there. Aha, uh -huh. just like that. Okay, I didn't go too hard on the glowberries because obviously they're a pretty light looking block, but I'm pretty happy the way that turned out not looking so dark underneath now and i think this island is pretty much done at this point love the way the tree is uh, shaped up love the mushrooms love the underside of the island i think i want to work on the next island over here which one uh i think it's this one in particular so this island up here and i also want to work on this island right here because i think it would be really nice to have a cascading waterfall from this island falling down onto this island i think that'd be really cool we'll have like a pond on this one and we'll have like a nice little bonsai tree or something like that up there or maybe like a bigger mushroom wherever the uh wherever like the water's coming from i think it'd be a nice little focal point to have that and then maybe maybe we'll build ourselves an island that's more focused around flowers and stuff and then have some beehives and everything like that going on around here also, look at like the way that the map isn't rendered in from over here. Interesting. But that's two islands down. On to the next. All right. So starting to shape out the island a little bit better. I think I like doing my islands a lot like this, kind of creating like a nice little bowl shape and then molding it from the from the bowl shape itself. And then we got the other island down here where we're going to cascade the waterfall from up here down over to here. So I'm thinking that this island in particular is going to be a lot more green with a lot more water involved. Might do like a small little stream over here as well. It's going to cascade down and go into more of like a misty waterfall as well. But I'm thinking I'm going to keep this one mainly dirt, maybe a little bit, little bit of rocks, but nothing too crazy. But as for the molding, I think that we're doing really well here. I want to put all the mud in place. I'm going to drop these walls just by a little bit. So I have a little bit of an area to place all my mud and then I'll place in some foliage and do all my trees and stuff. You guys know the drill. And then I'll line up the waterfall, bring it all the way down here. I'm probably going to have like a tree or something like that growing out of here. All these other islands are probably subject to change, even though I've been saying that for quite some time now, but I'm excited the way this one's going to shape, uh, shape up. 
I think I got something that I kind of like here. A little bit of a guideline. Maybe I'll bring back a little bit of this mud here. Working in towards the actual waterfall. So I'll bring this guy down just a smidge. I can get in here. Like that. Give or take. There's obviously a lot of things that gotta take uh, that are going to change over time. But I think I want to start bringing it up the walls here now. We could take our mud and we could slowly start working our way up the walls. But maybe some parts of this will be mud and then other parts will be moss. And then up here, it's going to be a little bit more deep slate. I'll be a little bit of the transition here. So bringing up the moss over here. I really wish that we had mossy cobble deep slate. So we'll have to use something kind of like that to kind of bridge the gap here. I think this is a nice little transition. Looks a little bit more dry. If I had cobble, I would totally be using the deep slate cobble over here instead. But just to add a little bit of a variation, I'm liking the mossy cobble up in here. This is looking a little bit too straight here. So I'll probably kick this guy back here a little bit. And then maybe we'll even like bring this out a bit and then bring this guy across like that just to help out with that a little bit i absolutely love this view so coming out of the dojo here you can start taking in a little bit more of like what i got planned for all the islands and stuff but i got the whole thing kind of like molded into a big giant ball of rock without like anything on top of it or without any of the waterfalls cascading off but you can kind of see it now like the vision is slowly coming to life and i'm absolutely loving this so now that we got this island at the stage that it's at right now, we're going to start working on this island down here, which is going to be a little bit smaller, so it shouldn't take me as much time to do. But I need to get underneath it and start doing everything. And I think the waterfall also links up right here. So I need to set something up so when the water does cascade off, we'll have like a big giant pool area. And then maybe we'll build a big tree over here that lives off of that water. But other than that, I'm loving the way that this is all shaping up. I've got the little bit of the darker spots, obviously, where the water is going to be cascading down. I decided to add a lot more um, like coarse dirt and everything like that. Like I said, these are very, very like rough draft shapes. But when you start to look at your builds more like of a rough draft shape, it starts to make it a little bit more simplistic to understand. So that's why you can kind of see a lot more of the basic stuff I've got going on in here. Because trust me, like when we're done, when we start layering in all the building blocks, things are going to get a lot more complicated and they're going to look a lot more like this. And there's a lot of stuff going on in here. It's really hard to kind of like take that in when you're building up islands like this. So let's start building this guy up now. Kind of like that. A little bit more decorated now. I added some nice little trees to add to the silhouette. Added some really tall mushrooms as well because this is very, very tall up in the sky. I feel like having some taller trees and some taller mushrooms with a little bit of bamboo kind of helps stick out a little bit but here's a little bit of a closer look here we got some cattails yes they are lit i was hoping to like kind of light up the area a bit got the steam coming off of the waterfall here as it cascades down this little guy right here which i'm pretty sure if i look all the way down there well it's probably a really bad view huh let me show you guys a little bit better it kind of like turns into mist on its way down if I fly up here, show you guys a little bit more of the silhouette of the trees that I'm working on here. This waterfall, I decided to let uh, go all the way down. There's a little bit more work that needs to happen up here. Obviously, I haven't fully lit up the area, but you guys can see it's nighttime and I am three days away from celebrating 40,000 days. So let's prepare for a fireworks show for that got all my nuggets i'm gonna have to get some feathers and i'm also gonna basically fortune three this entire stack of diamonds here and see how many diamonds we can get well that didn't give us as many diamonds as i thought it was gonna give us but that's two stacks that's gonna go straight to rockets now i'm on the hunt for some chickens because i don't have a feather farm so let's see if we can go find ourselves some chickens. And it looks like we just got one right here. I need these feathers. All 
All right. I think that's about all we need. I've got the golden nuggets for the stars. I've got the twinkle effect. I got the burst effect. I've got the wither skulls for the creeper heads. And then I got a bunch of die and I got some other fire charges here to modify what we're going to be doing today. All right. It's time to head out to the end so we can start up our fireworks show at the God of Celebrations. I'm hoping to time everything out here correctly. I'm only a couple days away, but here we go. shoulder but it's about time that we get ready to make an actual firework show now that we're here at our end hub so let's go into the end and start prepping for this and where will we be doing the firework show the god of celebrations of course right in behind the giant firework but first we got to make the actual rockets to supply all the dispensers that we have up top so this is my rocket testing facility here Maybe I can show you guys exactly how it works. But I have like a lever right here. So we're able to like kind of look at the fireworks through a uh, completely blacked out room. So we can see what our modifiers are doing. Oh, and it looks like I forgot to grab the... Oh, I got lots of uh, glowstone dust over here. So, okay, that won't be an issue at all. Uh, we do have a little bit of diamonds. We have lots of golden nuggets. Yeah, no, no feathers. I saw that one coming. And none of those. All right, cool. Well, let's get to crafting then. Yeah, I'll show you guys exactly how this thing works. So I just pull this lever and I got a minecart under there. And it allows me to kind of see what I'm dealing with here. In terms of the firework. Especially if I want to test out like different things, but the whole sparkling effect, that's like a different thing that happens. Really cool. Got all my rockets here. Time to load up the rocket thing because literally it's it's time it's time it's time it's time mildly freaking out hopefully i can set this up in time and now that we're fully loaded we just gotta wait for our day to basically kick on over to forty thousand days and enjoy the fireworks show <laughs> Now with the fire.
fireworks show done and dusted it's time to rename another star to add to our board here so i could put it on our board of achievements we have every single thing going on here and it looks like i have a capital k when it should be lowercase so i guess i'm going to use up another level just to obviously make sure that everything's consistent F uh, fml there we go oh and i need a flipping glow frame oh i'm not prepared for this okay now i'm actually prepared got the lamp lit got the glow frame and there's the forty thousand days we got our forty-five thousand and our fifty thousand. and well with all that out the way it's time to get back to our island over here this one's gonna be a little bit of a smaller island it's gonna have maybe a little bit of trees some little bit of mushroom action and that is about it but i want to get this island completed we're not too far away from being done there and then i've got these two islands that i think would look really good over here all right gonna add a little bit of color here so i was thinking like the roses would be nice some sunflowers would be really nice i do have a pack for this i think this looks way better it's on uh vanilla tweak so if you guys want to get yourself some cool sunflowers like this too so we can make like little patches of of uh of the sunflowers and then i want to mix in a little bit of the roses and then i might actually incorporate some alliums i think those ones would look kind of nice and just gonna sprinkle them in like that and we can take a look at what to see what it looks like i mean you can hardly see the red but i like the yellow a lot it just adds a little bit of something to the island we're gonna add some more here maybe we can put our alliums over here on this island here a little bit we can make like little patches i think this would look really nice this look yeah i like that yeah maybe like a little bit of a stronger patch but i like that a lot yeah just like that little pops of purple i almost i almost said pink <laughs> little pops of purple throughout the island i think is looking really nice maybe something back there would be really nice as well like of course sunflowers pop these guys around here i think it'll be a nice little addition to this island really pop in some color especially against the podzel like that and i'll even add some little tulips up here taking the orange tulips with the green and the red mushrooms and of course the mushroom statue things from better minecraft if you guys uh know what it's from i think this guy's an amazing little addition to our little island here this can this guy could be our little mushroom god if you have any sacrificial mushroom stuff it can happen here but i think he i think he deserves tulips just like that little pop of color never killed nobody that's our little mushroom altar island that one's done that one's done that one's done obviously this one's done got that guy over there done i got these two over here which I don't know if they're going to be really that big. So I'm probably going to minimize them a little bit, but you could probably get these ones done in a timely manner. Check out the view from back here. But anyways, before we take on the next islands, I want to update our maps real quick. Obviously, there's been some big changes going on around here, and I would like to kind of like get these guys. Can I get a map, please? Why can't I get that map? Oh, I got it. Oh, that was annoying. Okay, hold on. Apparently it's uh you got to be like extremely good at the game in order to get these maps off of here. All right, there you have it. That island looks gorgeous. That island looks gorgeous. I think I got rid of a lot of the islands over there. This island, obviously, this map needs to be updated. So let me just quickly do that guy up real quick. Yeah, there it is. And there's a couple more maps that need to be updated. But as of right now, I think that looks pretty damn snazzy. It almost looks like one island right there even though there's like a elevation change i like it a lot all right anyways let's get back to work start building up the islands over here you know what else is a really nice touch of color on these islands wheat so i've been doing a little bit of this on the islands to add a little bit of pop of color and i'll show you guys exactly what i mean by this as we fly away a little bit of a strategic area for these things to be placed but like looking at this island now you have like little pockets of color which i think come out very beautifully also speaking of which built another island over here this one's a little bit more of a double waterfall action haven't gotten rid of the platform up here 
but this is actually where I got the idea to incorporate a little bit of the wheat kind of ties in a little bit of the wheat field here a little bit too and I built one of those like nice little fancy trees here which I love might do this one but I kind of have to look at it and see if I want to incorporate another island into the mix because I'm not yet 100% decided on whether or not I'm going to be doing it although I do think one more island would be really nice and that's the final island down I haven't dropped the waterfall just yet because I got a really really cool idea let me show you guys exactly what that idea is can you see it probably not but I'm adding these little birds up in the sky here to give a little bit of a silhouette and giving a little bit of an idea of it being up in the sky so I want to add these little flocks of birds around the islands kind of like flying around and such I think having these birds around these trees in particular will make it look a little bit more lively like that see how like the just the silhouettes up in the sky of the birds just flying through the trees brings like a whole nother atmospheric vibe to our islands absolutely in love with those and they're incredibly simple so i guess while we got that side done we've got a bunch more birds to add to the other islands in a very strategic way because i want to make sure that one we're not flying into them and two they got to make sense you know maybe we'll add some more birds around the ship as well while we're at it and for those of you guys who are curious this is literally all i'm doing up in the sky but it's a perspective type deal right so if i'm way over here and then i look at the bird now it starts to look a little bit more like a bird so these are going to be like builds that we're going to throw up way up high in the sky they can also pass as bats too if you want to try to do some bats and whatnot but they're really really neat but if you want to like a little bit of something bigger then there's other birds you could build too all right birds in place it's time to get rid of the little bit of a wall that i put in here so i can let this waterfall actually cascade down below and we can finish what we started It's just barely going to miss that log too. Just like that. All the way down. This one looks a little bit more consistent than I would like, but I like it. I want to show you guys something though. Not just the view from over here, but if I toggle on the shaders, we'll do a quick little fly through. You guys can see exactly what we got going on here. Because at this point, I would say we're pretty much done with the build. So you can take in all the birds i think the ship looks great obviously there's a lot of unfinished terrain with the mesa underneath but everything is turning out exactly the way i liked it let me know what you guys thought about this whole build and if you guys enjoyed the entire process of building up the ship and all the islands and the birds and what your favorite part of this entire build is and for now i'm just gonna fly through and kind of take it all in time to do the part that nobody ever wants to show uh organize all of our stuff <sighs> boy I won't, I won't make you guys watch that youtube and now with everything put away it's time to take on the next big project but what exactly is going to be that next big project well we're gonna be expanding our nether hub i need to connect up three mega builds to the nether hub in order to fly there safely now i've already begun digging out a massive tunnel that's going to lead us out to our three new portals one of them being the pirate sanctuary the experience farm and the bee and spider castle but unfortunately i don't think we're going to have the time to take that on today that's going to have to wait till next episode hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode and if you did so please leave a like and consider subscribing for some more until next time i hope you guys all have yourself a wonderful day